Okay, so here are three formulas that we need to know. So speed equals distance over time, density equals mass over volume, and pressure equals force over area. So in some cases, you might see these as formula triangles, speed, distance, time, density, mass, volume, and pressure force area. So I don't mind if you use the formulas or the formula triangles to answer these questions. Um, I'm going to use the formulas, but if you use the formula triangles, that's absolutely fine as well. So let's have a look at some questions. Okay, so a toy car travels 50 meters in 10 seconds, find its speed. So speed equals distance over time. Speed equals distance over time. So the distance is 50, the time is 10. So 50 over 10, so that's five. And it's meters over seconds, so it's meters per second. A block has a mass of one kilogram and a volume 200 centimeters cubed. Find its density. So density is mass over volume. So we've got a mass of one, a volume of 200. So we've got a density. We can leave it as a fraction. We can leave it as one over 200. That's absolutely fine. Um, a density of 1 over 200, and it's mass over volume, so kilograms per centimetre cubed. Kilograms per centimetre cubed. So these are compound because they're made up of two things, so metres per second and kilograms per centimetre cubed. A force of 10 newtons is exactly over an area of 2 metres squared, and the pressure. Pressure equals force over area, which is 10 over 2, which is 5. So pressure is measured in pascals or newtons per meter squared. Newtons divided by meter squared, newtons per meter squared. Okay, so in these examples, we're looking for different things in the formula. So speed equals distance over time. But we're working at distance in this example. So we've got a speed of 50. So 50 equals distance over time, 3. So I've substituted in speed as 50, um, time as 3. So 50 and 3. So I need to find D. So I'm going to times by 3. So distance equals 3 times 50 or 150. And we're measured it, measuring it in, this is miles per hour, so distance must be in miles. A block has a mass of 12 kilograms, so that's mass 12 and a density of 2.5 kilograms per centimetre cubed. So density is mass over volume, so density I know, 2.5, and mass I know, 12 over V. So I need to find V, so I'm going to times by V, which will give me 2.5 V equals 12, and then I'm going to divide by 2.5. So 12 over 2.5, well, I'll, simp I'll double it first, so V equals 12 over 2.5, which is 24 over 5. Um, it's four whole ones and four fifths. Uh, 4.8 and that's in it's centimeters cubed see the volumes in centimeters cubed a force of 10 newtons is exerted a pressure of 4 newtons per meter squared is recorded find the area so pressure equals force over area what do i know i know pressure is 4 force is 10 and we want to work out A. So if I times by A, I'll get 4A is 10, and then divide by 4. 
So A is 2.5. It's in meters squared. So meters squared. Okay, see if you can work out these ones. Okay, the first one we've got force and area is pressure. Find the pressure. So pressure equals force over area. Full pressure, we're finding pressure. Force is 15. Area is 3. So the pressure equals 15 over 3, which is 5 newtons per meter squared. A block has a volume of 5, density of 4, find the mass. Density equals mass over volume. Density is 4. Volume is 5. So the mass equals 4 times 5, which is 20. And it's in kilograms. A person travels 30 kilometers at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour. Speed equals distance over time. 5 equals 30 over time. Well, how far do they travel? They travel 30 kilometers. Um, the time is probably what we want to work out. So 5t equals 30 times, and then divide by 5. So time is 6, and it's in hours.